y'all y'all gonna realize I have a very short lease for any nigga in hip hop now. There, y'all will never y'all can say whatever y'all want to say. It gonna be a long day if some if anybody tries some shit with me. But anyway, the point is, bro, I've I've gotten to realize that like, you can't even let that that you can't let it be a thing. So anytime a rapper diss me, I've seen I've gone full force just because it's like, bro, niggas is looking for somebody to bully, bro. They're looking for somebody who. Who they could be like, well, he don't want to beef with me. I'm tougher than him, which is usually not the case. I usually I'm down to talk about anything, but these motherfuckers, you know what I mean? They've been jealous from day one. One of them, I don't know how you gonna be jealous from his casket, but it is it is what it is. And um, the other one, nigga, I was down to have sympathy for the nigga, but the nigga's still going at it. So I don't want to hear none of y'all. If, if any of y'all be like, yo, act you going too far? I need y'all to go on Google, go on Twitter. And go just watch this nigga try to push forth or try to push forth the narrative that I'm a pedophile. That's nothing to play with. You know, we live in 2022. I guarantee, like, say some of y'all in here, if y'all got kids, I don't got no kids. But, like, say if y'all had kids or some, some other shit and somebody was trying to push that narrative online about you, talking about, like, you, you, you into some shit, like, that you're not into, you would be really, you would start to cross boundaries. You start start to cross lines. And um, that's really all my explanation for anybody who fuck with me. Be like, yo, Ak, yo I think you're tweaking. It ain't tweaking, bro. We tried to not do it. Like, I'm telling you, we tried not, not, not to do it, bro. I'm telling you, I was sympathetic after homie lost his brother. I was like, yo, we could talk. Niggas don't want to talk, bro. Niggas, niggas want to show some type of force. So, all right, bet. Nigga, show the force with your brother resting in piss. Fuck it. That's how we going to keep it. All right, anyway, we're just going to keep moving on. Um, Let's move on to Charleston White after that. I, I seen some shit that he said. Charleston White, academics. Yo, chat, we here to address it all. We haven't streamed in a while. <laughs> that type of lackademics, hilarious. <laughs> that type of lackademics, here we go. Um, I'm going to just play niggas' words because sometimes y'all probably hear me talk a lot. I'm going to just play niggas' words and I'll get, back, I'll get back to it. I've heard him say he admired me. I heard him say, man, I want to get Charleston on my platform. There's two guys I would like to get. Why would he take that? and run with the narrative, I've been checked, and it's only five seconds. And in that five seconds, all you hear is, these my people, and these my people. That's all you hear. Let me just say this. Academics, uh, I'm, ve I'm very disappointed in DJ Academics. Uh, uh, if we're gonna be reporting, we're, we're, let me just say this. Let me, and I, I want to be real clear when I say this. Most of us study and watch the old Dick Gregory. Talk about it. Gray hair or Dick. Talk about we it. didn't watch the activist Dick when he was younger. Yeah. Right? The old Dick cussed out a young nigga one time. This is why I cuss out motherfucker when they ask me stupid questions. Man, you see who I am, you know what I do, and you get me on this platform and you ask me this stupid shit. You wasting my motherfucking time and you hurting your people. That microphone you got is way more powerful than NBA young boy, Lil Dirk, Lil Baby, Da Baby, Drake, and Jay-Z. You got 200,000, 300,000 people that subscribe to you that you got their ear you can deposit something in they soul and you bullshitting with that microphone and camera. He said, we the media. Yeah. We can control our own narratives. So I don't let nobody control my narrative. Yeah, I call the police on you, nigga. Yeah, I snitch, nigga. Nigga, I rape white women. I done killed a white man before. Nigga, I hate you niggas. You can't control my narrative. I control Charleston narrative. Oh, he a snitch. Ain't no paperwork. Oh, he raped people. He ain't never been accused. He ain't never been arrested for it. Oh, man, he killed a white person. Ain't no records of it. He said he did. Ain't no records of it. You see what I'm saying? So I control my narrative. So when I watched Dick Gregory and I studied the old Dick, he was real distinct about who he would let interview him. In the beginning, I let everybody interview me. I gave myself to everybody, homie. And motherfucker was using me for clickbait to really hurt me as a character. 
and assassinate my character to my people. And they won't report the truth of who I am and what I really do. So all of these people outside of my city know everything about me and all of y'all just report the truth about me. You see what I'm saying? You got some people say, man, he sleep with a pastor. Uh, he a snitch. He a FBI informant. He mess with children. He a rapist. He this. But the people around here don't say none of that. And you guys got real big platforms. So I'm saying to myself, why would somebody like DJ Academics, homie, I've heard him say he admired me. I heard him say, man, I want to get Charleston on my platform. There's two guys I would like to get. Why would he take that and run with the narrative, I've been checked, and it's only five seconds. And in that five seconds, all you hear is, these my people, and these my people. That's all you hear. And he run with it and pushed this narrative as if I've been checked, and this guy is a violent guy. I mean, it's actually is a good guy. Talk about it. Product of his environment, but a good, articulate, intelligent guy. And he's trying to find his way out. And he really don't want to crash out. So for DJ Academics to take this and run with that narrative, they ain't talked to nobody from Mississippi. They ain't talked to 600 Breezy. They ain't talked to, and he did this, homie. He the voice of the people who all the young people listen to. So if you tell half a truth, that's a lie. If you tell a lie, that's a lie. If you tell part of a truth and leave something out, that's a lie. If you don't tell the whole truth, it's not the truth. You lying. To run, to run, so, to run with information that you don't have all the information, right. but to run with it. That's you, a, you're, 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 that's deceptive. And my mother told me that the devil is the master of deception. All right. <clears throat> um, Charleston White. Okay. I don't like to be the person who, who like, you know, I'm not double dutching. I think Charleston White is a very smart individual. I think he has a unique point of view. I don't agree with all the point of views. And and that has to be noted. When he says that King Von dying, when he equates it to an act of God, I do not agree. When he talks about certain people being the devil, I do not agree. When he talks about the hypocrisy that's within our society or the hypocrisy within gangs, for the most part, I usually agree. I think he's important. And there was a time in my come up where I really cared a lot about, you know, just other voices who could even, I don't know, like, like just be honest, like maybe quote unquote being competition or whatever. And, you know, I feel like we're all competing for like real estate, even though I feel like I always had my unique lane. But, Primarily, I, I, I like, you know, bro, in the last four or five years, and this is how I'm trying to tell you how long I've been doing this. Four or five years. Like, when I mean four or five years, it's been four or five years since I've been comfortable in terms of I don't care who. There's always another nigga who's trying to be act. That's one of the things I'm so proud of myself to be able to let go. I, if I ask you right now, who's the latest nigga doing an academics impression? Spam it. Y'all probably named somebody I don't know. I've lost track of that. I've understood and accepted what I am, and I've, I'm comfortable where being who I am have gone brought me to. These days, I'm all about hyping up, pushing up, giving credit to people who have a voice or who aren't doing an impression of me. Academics has been done. To move this air and this shit forward, you got to be something else. It's the reason why, bro, even though, to keep it real, like, let's go to Hassan Campbell. I really wish it didn't go like that, where, like, we all had a conversation. 
which was very viral. And then the guys who were on the panel that had the conversation turned against each other, Wack and, and Hassan. But it is what it is. I'm still glad that Hassan voice exists. And by the way, Hassan voice doesn't necessarily mean it's going to dick suck or dick ride, whatever you want, you, like terminology you want to say, me. He might criticize me and tell like, I don't like how I acted that. And this is why I'm not going to, uh, um, some of y'all probably thought because I just violated them other guys that I'm going to violate Charleston White. No. Because I know Charleston White's a new guy entering the space. And by the way, before I sat down with with um, Hassan, I know Hassan has said many stuff critical of me. That's why when me and Wack were having a conversation, Wack was so mad like, yo, yo you knew this nigga dissed me? I'm like, Wack, I'm going to be honest with you. You call it dissing. I call it criticism even if I don't like it. I knew Hassan said stuff about me. I didn't care. There was a time I would care. And this is the reason why I'm not attacking Charleston White with the same type of, you know, y'all know how I get down. Um, I, I say all that to say, Charleston White, your voice is important. You have a unique point of view. When you say something, even if I said the same thing, it I think it matters when you say it because you have a lot of experience. You're older. You put in a, go, a good way. I, th I think for the most part, you put in a good way. I won't say everything. Um, you try to make it more palatable, and you speak with authority. I like it. Now, this is where I implore you to watch more, because you know, I I, I know I know you are uh, you are implying that maybe like that your voice or your presence was being whored out. And by the way, when I invited you to be on my podcast, I probably wasn't going to talk about anybody. I was going to talk about the state of the black community. So please don't ever think I'm using you for clickbait. I also have to reiterate and say to all these artists, say to all these talking heads these days, please remember, and this is not speaking with any type of braggadocia, but it might come off to be, please remember who I am. And please remember the history of what I've been doing in this game. Bro, I racked up 1.3 billion views on my latest channel, speaking without my face being shown. So whatever you think you're doing, think about 1.3 billion views. And that's since my new, my, my latest new biggest channel. By the way, I don't have 300,000. That's, that's my stream channel. That's 2.7 over there. But it's near, here and there. I'm only saying this because I'm not, and this is very respectfully. I'm not Adam. I'm not Say Cheese. And I'm not Vlad. I do not need you for an interview. I do not need Hassan Campbell. When I invite you guys to my platform is because I want to showcase different things because I've been doing well. Look at look at my main channel. I started grinding that shit back again. It's like I never left. I'm lit right now, kind of. But after this, I'm going to get off and I'm going to do a couple of videos because I, I, I got a little quota right now. I made it my own. I'm going to put some videos up on YouTube. Bro, I don't need to interview people. When I invite a Charleston White or, or a Hassan Campbell, it's because I, I like what you're saying. Nigga, I just invited Tariq. Uh, um, um, you know Tariq. Tariq Nasheed. I think we might disagree. I don't have to agree with everything he says. I just think it would be a good conversation. The point what I'm trying to tell you is that I'm out of the stage, and I think all y'all are in it now. Charleston, you definitely are. Where, 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 where you're so focused on self-importance. Oh, no, why niggas is trying to use me? Y'all, like, I feel like I'm, I'm just talking shit when I say it. But there is no online creator ever in the history of this culture who has gained more views by just only speaking by themselves other than me. I do not need nobody. So let me get to what Charles the White is saying. And this is why I think, Charleston White, you are being whored out. But it won't be by me. So if you felt that I was trying to use you for any anything like that, we could kit. I mean, you, you already exchanged some words. Even though I know if you're going back on a lot of times, you exchange words. You said some stuff to say cheese. I see you doing interviews say cheese. So I know you've gone back on a few things. But we could cancel any possibility of me and you ever doing content together because I don't need you. But that's not even the point. My point is just being firm in you understanding that I wasn't clickbaiting. 
I wasn't using, I'm going off of what I see. Now, I don't have a personal relationship with you. So let me get to the point. Charleston White is upset with me because he believed I was pushing a false narrative. And he also, you know, said before, he felt like, you know, I was trying to use him for an interview, which I continually say, say, if I'm speaking with people, like, it's it, it just, like, y'all allow certain things to, to, to be said. It's just, like, look at the people who I've interviewed, who have came to me. Let's do an interview. The people who I've interviewed, they've came to me. Do you think I'm, like, fucking dying to interview Charleston White or anyone else? Do you understand what I'm saying? But whatever. So Charleston White, here's the point I was trying to say. You, you severely misunderstood what, what, what I was doing. And by the way, I didn't know too much of your conflict. You're now entering the online phase. Now, it seemed like you probably took some endearment to my comments about you because I have no problem problems with you. Even though I think, by the way, in the past, I've heard you say stuff about me that's not positive. But I don't care. <laughs> That's the that's the point where I'm trying to get to with all these online things. I don't that's why I'm not here firing up Charleston White. I don't care, my nigga. You're literally talking to the Billy Goat. I'm sorry. You're talking to the goat. I'm sorry. Like me and you, I'm not gonna get no points by going at you. I'm sorry. Like I'm looking towards other shit. Got me with agents, this enter, it's not gonna get no points. But I do want you to understand. I didn't know what was going on. I saw a very short clip with a caption on the clip. I didn't put the caption on the clip, and I'll play the clip now. And I want you, if you're fair, to understand, and I'm speaking to you as if you're fair, not that I need your your um, approval or anything, but I just want to make a point for the audience. This is a clip I played. So if you look at my Instagram, there was a clip. And let me go down. This is the first clip that I got sent. I want y'all to see above 600 Breezy checks Charleston White. I did not know. Like, I got the clip as is. I didn't put the caption there. I got it as is. My caption was Charles, uh, 600 Breezy speaks to Charleston White over this in King Vaughn. My actual caption does not even include s saying that it's Charleston White got checked. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now, I did do a YouTube video on it, and I said, well, Th situations like this are going to happen because I know I speak on things that sometimes people feel very endeared to. Like if I did a commentary, I ain't gonna lie to you, somebody called me over commentary about Young Thug. That is very true. That's the reality of life. And um, for them, they just wanted, like, their angle was more like, yo, they, they're like, yo, you're making it seem like he's just gone. Like, Yo, they were telling me, yo, he's going to be the case, this and third, blah, blah. Like, yo, d d d don't make it seem like Thug's just stupid. And I was like, well, the, the way I'm covering Young Thug, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily personalizing to him. I do want to make a statement, though. The statement is this. If you follow me or you watch academics and you've been watching me for years and you want to be a rapper or you're, you are a rapper, I'm not clowning Thug, but I want to make an example out of anybody who would, still be associated with certain things while having major success. And that's my angle. My angle is not this and thug. I don't have a problem with them. My angle is telling kids who are eventually going to be in those meetings with label heads signing deals for five and $10 million. But they sign those deals talking street shit. But then they become really successful at talking street shit. And now the communities they live in are looking for a way to persecute or prosecute them. So when I tell people, I'm like, yo, listen, there's maybe a few things you want to just take heed to. I know it sounds cool, this and the judge, but you probably don't want to. Look what's happening to the dog. It might sound cool being around this, that, and third, but you probably don't want to. Look what's happening to the dog. That's my thing. So back to Charleston White. And, you know, Charleston, one of the things I do appreciate about you, which I was a little bit disappointed at, is because you're an elder statesman. I don't want to call you old. You're an elder statesman. I would expect you to know a little bit, you know, your demeanor and 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 patience and understanding what clickbait is would be a little bit different, except, you know, I think you really felt I tried to play you. Now, I understand the, the, the gravity of the platform, but I just explained this caption was already written here. Maybe you thought I should have edited it out, but this is how I got the video, right? You see what my caption said? 600 Breezy speaks. 
not checks. If there was an edit, you would see it right here. It would say edited. It wasn't edited. This is exactly how I put it up. Say Son of Breezy speaks to Charles the White over dissing King Von. On my YouTube video, I won't get I, I hit play by voice like twice. For the majority of the time, I pretty much said, hey, listen, I didn't really see him getting checked. But I understand when you are critical, when you're polarizing. I am critical and polarizing too. I've gotten to a lot of situations where me and niggas got to have conversations. Me shit. Well, it was a business shit mostly, but remember when people saw that video of me and me and Wack at first? We were like, yo, Wack precedent. Not the case. We were having a conversation. I had to check myself during that time. You know why? Because the internet was trying to write a narrative that wasn't true. They were like, they were trying to get me to feel a way about like, yo, Wack looked like he pressed me. But he didn't, he didn't press me. So after I said it like twice, and people were like, nah, we seen the video. It's the internet, you can't beat it. So Charleston White, this is the video we all got. I'll play the video now. Hold on, sorry. Yeah, sorry, sir. You my people, right? All right, here we go. It was a short clip, okay? Now, let me see if I could find how I titled that YouTube video. I want to be very clear. So if I go on YouTube and I type Academics Charleston White... Look, I want y'all to look at my title. I haven't changed anything. 600 Breezy pulls up on Charleston White for disrespecting King Vaughn. Charleston says he got checked. Charleston said he got checked. Remember, Charleston White is feeling a way about me because he feels like I am putting out a narrative about him get checked. Look at how I posted my Instagram, my Instagram caption. Charles 600 Breezy speaks to Charleston White. How do I post my YouTube video? 600 Breezy pulls up on Charleston White for disrespecting King Vaughn. Charleston says he got checked. Now, why would I say Charleston White says he got checked? Where did this checking shit come from? I will show you. Charleston White. And maybe I just got these clips out of context. This is the clip I got subsequent to that first video. Y'all tell me what Charleston White says. I ain't gonna say he ain't checked me. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna say the young nigga ain't checked me. The little nigga stand by 6'2". Uh, nigga probably can be a motherfucker me uh, defensive end, nigga, for one of them uh, NFL football team, nigga. So what y'all think? I'm gonna fight that young nigga? That nigga 20 years, something younger than me. Yeah, but one thing I know about the young nigga, he didn't want to fight with all them chains around his neck, but he was upset. He was very, very angry, and a nigga threatened me. Yeah, yeah, you don't know. I started to call the police on him right then and on this motherfucking ass. Nigga tell me next time I see you outside this circle, what he'll do to me. Nigga, I'm damn near senior citizen level, and I'm disabled. You don't know that, but I have. I started to go put the police on him, motherfucker. Hey, officer, listen. You see that man in that suit over there? He threatened me earlier today when we... I ain't gonna say he ain't checked me. Yeah, yeah, I ain't gonna say... Okay, that's, that's the video. You're online basically answering if you got checked. And you say, I ain't, I ain't going to say he ain't checked. Me. That's how it was. So Charleston White, just for your information, we never have to cross paths, okay? I think you and Say Cheese have a really good relationship. I think it's symbiotic. I thought it was done when you were arguing or beefing with him. Um, I don't know whose fault that was. I think you guys do good content together. My name is DJ Academics. I've never needed a nigga. I don't care if I ever do content with you in life. But I do want to educate you. And if you've seen this clip, the whole point of the education was letting you know that I had no ill intention. I had no agenda. And I didn't just come up with something trying to paint you in a light of you getting checked. I took words from your mouth. I took a video that had already a caption. And everything I did otherwise was being fair. Okay. And um, if you're the person who I believe is fair and reasonable, I think you'd be able to see that. Do I need an apology? No. But I definitely, one of the things that off the record has exposed me to, which I'm very unfamiliar with, 
is that I've never reached out to people in my life for con for con uh, like you know to do content. I never did that. I always told y'all I got to the position I am because I was bad at networking. So I just start talking myself. It's the reason why I do my podcast alone. I don't like relying on people. I like to just do me. And if I can't win by doing me, I'm not the guy. I've based my whole career off of that. So Charleston White or whoever else who this may interest, um, I did reach out to Charleston for to do some content. That's a fact. But when I reached out, by the way, that doesn't mean we're friends. Number two, that doesn't also mean I really need you. Okay? So we'll do it publicly here. I do not want Charleston White on my platform. I think he has an important message, but his platform is, is sufficient enough where he could spread it there along with, say, cheese and other places. I'm good. Okay? Let's do that. Um, Other than that, uh, I feel like there's a bunch of stuff. Uh, 